Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your cloud accounts using Prowler. Prowler is a very popular open source solution that monitors uh, your cloud account, uh, whether it's AWS, Azure, or GCP for any misconfigurations against security best practices. This process is also called configuration drift detection. And another name for this is CSPM, Cloud Security Posture Management. They all mean the same thing. Another thing that is included in CSPM is the compliance, uh, checking for compliance. And Prowler does that too. Prowler has extensive support for regular regulatory compliance frameworks like ISO, HIPAA, GDPR, SOC 2, and it can also evaluate uh, your cloud accounts against industry benchmarks from NIST, CIS, and CISA. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is create an IM user for Prowler. Then I just call it Prowler. And since this is a short, going to be a short lived user, I'm not going to follow all the best practices and I would be attaching the policies directly because I'm going to de delete this user after this demo. So what Prowler needs uh, are these two manage policies. One is read-only access and the other is security audit. Prowler also needs additional permissions if you run some other additional checks but the control that we are going to run right now uh, probably just needs these two policies. I'm also going to do something else which is not recommended and that is create uh, long-lived credentials which is the, uh, the access keys because once again this is actually going to be short-lived and I'm going to delete this user after this demo but it's something which is discouraged in production. So here I'm going to create a new AWS profile. Uh, I'm going to call it Prowler. We'll set the default region to East one. The other thing to note is that I'm in a directory called Prowler and it doesn't have anything right now. Now I am on a Mac machine, so I install Prowler using Brew, but there are multiple ways to install Prowler and it is well documented on their website. The way to run Prowler is very simple. You just write Prowler and then specify the provider. Provider could be AWS, Azure, GCP, and Prowler also supports Kubernetes and any other provider you specify that here. And then after that, within AWS, within the context of AWS, now we're gonna specify the profile, which we just saved and called it Prowler. And then also specify the region. If you don't, specify the region it is going to scan all the regions which is probably something that you don't want because usually your pr primary region is one or two so you can just target uh, specific regions in your scans and this is all we need once we run it it will start executing the scan 
The scan takes few minutes to complete, so I'm gonna pause and then come back once it's done. The scan completed successfully, and now it's time to look at the results. So Prowler creates some output files uh, within the directory where you run Prowler from. Uh, obviously, you can we can look at these files. It's HTML and then there's a CSV as well. Uh, but a good way to look is through Prowler dashboard. And all we need to do is just run Prowler dashboard command. And then whatever output there is within uh, the directory, it's going to show in a nice dashboard. It's up. This is the URL on which the dashboard is running. So let's see what we have. So here you have a, this nice dashboard where you can view all the issues that are identified by the scan. By default, it's showing the checks that pass as well, but obviously you can filter here and only look at the ones that failed. Prowler has a very extensive library of controls. So one thing that you can be sure of is that your account got uh, comprehensively scanned and the issues are also listed in terms of their severities. So this helps you with the prioritization. So for example, this is a, a sandbox account. There's not a lot of things happening for bigger accounts we're going to have much more findings. So for example, if you look at this issue, you'll see, so we have additional details here that is going to help us understand what this problem is and how we could resolve them. So if you regularly run the scans using Prowler or any, any other equivalent tool, what you are doing for your cloud account security is you are taking care of the cloud security posture management, which is a very important part of your overall security regime for your uh, cloud accounts. However, for comprehensive security of your cloud environments, you need more. Uh, and that is uh, CIEM. You also need security for your Kubernetes clusters, the Kubernetes misconfigurations scanning which is also called KSPM. And you would also need some sort of runtime protection, which I'm going to do subsequent videos. And I'm going to show how you could do all of that using open source solutions.